Hey, Matt. My name is Tony. I'm with Groove Web Services. We're a company right here in Lakewood Ranch. I spoke with Rachel, let her know that I wanted to send you guys a quick video. Um, what I hope to do here is give you a couple tips uh, to help you increase your online presence. I also want to compare your website to that of a couple of your main competitors and go over three of the main ranking factors that Google has that will allow you to start uh, snagging up a bit more of that organic, non-paid traffic off of Google. Um, all right, so I'm going to try to keep this video probably between five to eight minutes long. We'll start with uh, content. So content for your website is nothing more than the words and images on your homepage here. We suggest having about 1,500 to 2,000 words of content. Google likes to see well-written authoritative content on their websites. Um, this also allows you to get the keywords in that are so important uh, to have on your homepage so that when somebody searches for a plumber, or plumber plumbing related services in your area, you're being served up as one of the websites uh, in the search results. Um, you're doing decent here. This this site is pretty good. Um, I don't think you've hit 1,500 words, uh, maybe a few hundred, but uh, good. I like the images. I like the uh, videos. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of keywords. So keywords being something like uh, water softeners and then the city name, Sarasota. And you might see those in like headers uh, or like need a plumber in Sarasota or do you need a plumber in Bradenton, uh, things of that nature. Um, let's take a look here at Build a Plumber. For Sarasota, they're ranked pretty high and I'll show you where I found the uh, bill here and one of the other competitors in a second. Um, see here, plumbers in Sarasota, that would be a, a way to uh, get a keyword in on your site. Um, now, Bill, in all actuality, you're outdoing Bill on the content side of things as far as the word count. But I have a feeling Bill may be doing better on the actual keyword side. And then Ryan's Plumbing is also on page one. And uh, you're, you're kicking Ryan's Plumbing's butt when it comes to content. But that's just one of the three uh, variables. So um, variable number two are citations. Um, so what I've done here, um, I'll show you a couple things. I've searched Plumber Sarasota, Florida. We've got the paid ads here. That's not really what we're here to talk about. Um, but if you need some quick traffic, that's a good way to get it. You've got the map pack here. This is for a search uh, local service related niche like plumbing. This is the holy grail. This is a boardwalk if we were playing Monopoly. Most of the search uh, volume ends up clicking or, or calling one of the folks in the top three here. Um, the, one of the major ways to get into this map pack is through something called a citation. A citation is, a, um, is your company name, phone number, and address, and URL, website URL, placed out on directory sites throughout the internet. These, types, these directory sites are like yellowpages.com, Yelp, HomeAdvisor, Thumbtack, a Facebook business page, a LinkedIn business page. There's a bunch of them. The more of those types of uh, websites you have your company on, the better chance uh, you will start uh, going, uh, getting higher into the um, map pack here over time. And then below the map pack, you've got the organic listings. So this is where I found Build a Plumber and Ryan's Plumbing on page one for this uh, keyword. Organic listings are heavily... Um, heavily uh, affected by backlinks, which is the third ranking factor. A backlink is your website found out, uh, the, your website URL out on a uh, third party website. So say you are working with a plumbing distributor and they have all of the people they do business with listed in a directory on their website. If your website URL is clickable within that directory, that would be a backlink. And that would be a good backlink too because it's relevant to your niche since it would be a plumbing distributor. Um, so let's look here at a couple of things. Uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue on with backlinks. Uh, Build a Plumber here has 390 backlinks um, over 93 different domains or websites. He's being found for 396 keywords here um, organically. If we click into those keywords, you'll see the kind of keywords you want to have on your website homepage. So um, Sarasota Plumbers, 80 search volume a month. They're in position one. They get a 26 clicks to their website. 
just from that keyword. Plumbers Sarasota FL, which is what I searched here, 200 searches a month for that. They're in position three, getting about 21 clicks. Plumbers Sarasota without the FL is a variant of that, 200 clicks. They're in position three, 16 traffic. If you add all this up, I'm thinking, you know, you're, he's going to have, let's see, about 175 uh, traffic and a lot of that coming from those buyer intent keywords we're talking about. So say they get 17 or 10 percent of that, 17 to 18 uh, new uh, new clients a month times that by whatever the average job uh, is. And you've got a number. Let's look at your uh, website here. So you've got 1,320 backlinks, over 115 domains, 466 organic keywords for 140 traffic. What I want to drill into, though, is what are you being found for that's driving all that traffic? And what I see is your uh, Professional Plumbing Sarasota, your name, whatever that is, Professional Plumbing Sarasota FL. So you're getting some clicks from this, and there's some volume because you're ranked high for these, but that's just for your company name. Um, where we want to see you ranking high are on are these guys, Plumbing Sarasota, Plumbing Sarasota FL, um, Sarasota Plumber, but you're, you're unfortunately on the end of page one or on page two for these words. So the backlinks you're getting are not uh, either strong enough or they are not uh, created in the right way to actually push these uh, buyer intent keywords higher. So that number that we were seeing here, um, the traffic value is a little bit uh, misleading, if, if you know what I'm saying, uh, because we really want those to be buyer intent keywords. The beauty of this product, uh, last thing I want to talk about, is I can go in and look at the domains or the websites that have a backlink for your main competitor. And this is like a roadmap for us. What we can do is go out and try to get these same backlinks. Um, that we're able to get and then uh, then get some additional powerful backlinks on top of that. And then over time, you're going to over outrank this person uh, because you're going to have what they have and then you're going to have more, if that makes sense. So obviously, this is something that I can help with if you ever wanted to talk about it. But hopefully I've given you a little bit of uh, information that will allow you to help yourself if you're so inclined. Um, I definitely do hope that this was useful to you, Matt. Uh, if you want to talk, feel free to give me a call. Obviously, my phone number will be in the email. You can always reply to the email. I do ask if you have the time and uh, you wouldn't mind if you could just reply to the email. And let me uh, give me any feedback you might have on this video that might help me help the next person I send one to. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.